I'd like to thank the guy who wrote the song that made my baby. The track I've inherited is Who Put the Bomb by Barry Mann. Who put the bomb in the bomb, the bomb, the bomb? Who put the rhyme in the rhyme, the rhyme, the ding dong? Who put the bomb in the Mother and father were never really into music. Um, having lived through the war, they preferred more practical things like uh, chairs and pans. Um, I like chairs and pans too, but uh, after my dad had received uh, Who Put the Bomb as a gift and swiftly binned it, I fished it out and the song and I just connected. It brings back memories of long nights lying awake in bed, listening to my parents argue. Um, if memory serves, it was quite hateful stuff. And as a six-year-old, I was aware that hearing too much of it might not be good for my mental well-being, um, not least because I was a keen bedwetter already. And so I'd play the record at top volume to drown it out. The song contains quite a lot of gibberish lyrics. It was almost as if, as an antidote to the harsh words I'd overheard my parents saying, I found comfort in songs without words. I think I found it took the sting out of my mental anguish to hear Barry Mann sing Rama Lama Ding Dong over my father telling my mother he'd only married her because uh, she got pregnant. Or Boogity 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 Shoe as he screamed at her that she was even uh, not very good at baking. Fall in love with me. I mean, these rows continued long into my teenage years, and each time I would retreat happily into my world of gobbledygook and codswallop, enjoying not just Who Put the Bump, but a whole host of similarly nonsensical songs. bebop a lula da do ron ron do a diddy diddy uh, ma kuka chu oh bloody oh blada uh, goo goo para bajagargal, and uh, wo jab yard i aid wo jab yard uh, wo jab wo jab yard i aid Wo Jab Yad Aye, which I later learned wasn't gibberish at all, uh, it was just in Hindi. Ramalama Ding Dong. But I don't want to attach too much negativity to it. The record was present in happier times too, such as in the background when my father was indulging in his hobby of making simple leather purses, or my mother was in the kitchen practicing her baking, which, to be fair to my dad, did need work. The track I'd like to pass on, I think, it has got to be the theme from Grandstand by Keith Mansfield. I remember hearing this when it debuted back in 1975. I'd been eating a plate of beans at my kitchen table one Saturday lunchtime and I suddenly stopped mid-mouthful, wrapped by this urgent melody that came wafting in from the TV in the lounge. I hadn't been watching it. The television had just been left on because my wife, Carol, wasn't very good at remembering to turn off electrical appliances. Uh, but far from being irritated, I was exhilarated. The song and its arrangement captured all the power and thrill of live sport, and it pumped me full of pure zest. My life at this time hadn't exactly been overflowing with excitement. I, mean, I was eating beans alone at my kitchen table. But suddenly I felt adrenaline coursing through me and found myself wolfing down the beans, um, imagining myself in uh, a, some sort of competitive bean-eating contest, determined to scoop gold for Britain. That held for several years, but as the BBC lost the broadcasting rights to more and more Blue Ribbon events and Grandstand became an afternoon of desperate sporting filler, the music developed a rather sarcastic feel, the, the bombast of a tune that had once led into, say, the Monaco Grand Prix, jarring badly with a live canoeing from Wiltshire, uh, or even the UK Masters Snooker from wherever the UK Masters Snooker is from. But then I bought a cassette of the theme tune and I used it for my own ends. Uh, my teenage son Fernando had a problem with motivation, so if he slept in beyond 9 or 9.30 at weekends, I'd slide two 100-watt speakers into his bedroom, hit play, and watch him leap out of bed, energised and angered. 
by the sheer gusto of Keith Mansfield's music. And so I passed this song on to him, my only son, since he still lacks motivation and has recently been made redundant. Uh, I also have a daughter, but this isn't for her. I have a different song in mind for her, but it's private, thank you. But uh, in a nutshell, like listening to it on fat headphones while go-karting. <laughs>